All right, thank you. All right, we're just about to make the train. Yeah. We'll get set up right in the front there. Yeah, that door and then set up the front. Oh, wow, this is so cool. Oh, yeah, okay. journey remember to stay seated keeping your hands arms feet and legs inside the train sit all the way back against the bench and please be sure to watch your children as time sir bienvenidos a bordo del wildlife express para que tengan un viaje seguro manténganse sentados con las manos y brazos y así se más dentro del tren siéntense hasta atrás pegados al respaldo de la banca y por favor bien a los niños Welcome aboard the Wildlife Express with service to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Here, you'll discover a wide range of animal adventures from the affection section, where you can get up close and personal with domesticated animals like goats and sheep and more, to sneak meats and animal fair in action, and our veterinarian nutrition and science centers. Also, be sure to check out the animation experience at Conservation Station, where you can learn to draw your favorite inspired by live animals for one of our animators. The tradition of animals and animation reaches all the way back to Walt Disney himself and his long-standing passion for conservation. He believed it was important that we protect our wildlife and preserve our natural world. This sense of motivation shaped his legacy from animation to conservation to the very adventures we offer here at Disney's Animal Kingdom each and every day. As we make our way to Rafiki's Planet Watch, keep an eye out for some of the exciting wildlife we might encounter along the way and the highly trained specialists who care for them. From ostriches and rhinos to the mighty African elephant, the species we care for here at Disney's Animal Kingdom are some of the very same animals that inspired animated classics like The Lion King, The Jungle Book, and more. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
out toward the railing. Remain seated until the train comes to a complete stop. Be sure to watch it. As you exit, go about and explore. All right, friends, we are approaching the conservation station at Rafiki Planet Watch. Please remain seated until the train comes to a complete stop. Once we come to a stop, one of our train station crew will open the doors for you next. Once again, thank you for visiting us here at Rafiki Planet Watch. And have a great day here at Animal Kingdom. Thank you. Class. Hey, look, it's Rafiki. I'm just <laughs> going into the unknown. <laughs> I feel like we're going into the thick of it. Can I take a picture with him, Mommy? Oh, it's Rafiki. Get involved. Fish in there, like now, boiling in there. Rafiki's telling us to go this way. Oh. All right. Okay, Rafiki. So if you see these little white gourds that are um, kind of like nesting um, bird, you know, things and all, um, all throughout the resort area, it's because of these uh, birds called purple martins. I was just told by uh, one of the uh, 
uh, cast members over here that they were going extinct. They didn't understand why. They, they're good for eating mosquitoes and, and little bugs and things like that. Um, but they were going extinct. Well, they just found out um, as Florida was uh, progressing and building buildings and everything, it was taking their natural nesting habits away. So uh, Walt Disney Resort, uh, Walt Disney World, um, figured out uh, we'll put these gourds that uh, we know that they'll nest in and they'll put them up all around the property. Well, then all of a sudden they started nesting like three times before leaving. They mate for life and they started going in and producing more and more. Well, apparently all of Florida started catching on and saying, hey, we're going to do our part. So all throughout, oh, so cool, all throughout Florida now are these nesting areas and now um, they said that the purple martins are like off the endangered species list and they're just plentiful all throughout the, uh, the place. So if you see those kind of white gourd nests, that's what those are for. So thank you to that cast member who told us that. This is like a fun little play area for kids, kind of like to get hands on. I love the wilderness explorer badges all over the place. I have seen those all over. Oh, it's like a fun little petting zoo. Mm -hmm. The affection section. No food or drink. <laughs> what if I'm the food? Whoa. <laughs> so there's sketch times. Oh, good Lord, that feels so good. There's like air conditioning, yes. There's like a little outdoor shop here. It's kind of later in the day, so everything's kind of focused. Oh, thank you. The air conditioning feels so good. Anyways, coming down here. This is like, I'm so blown away by this. So here's all of these fun little like different uh, snakes and reptiles and bugs. Oh, and here's the, here's the, okay, so we're also told by the cast member that there was these um, uh, whooping birds that were going extinct. Crane? Whooping crane? Some type of a crane that was going extinct. I guess the parents were dying off. They didn't understand why. And um, the parents need to teach the birds, the young ones, how to fly. Well, um, because the parents were dying off, and the babies didn't know the migration flight. They were also dying off. So again, Walt Disney, along with other conservation areas, would take these huge uh, gliders because they knew the migration. Um, they kind of created it to look and feel like one of the, uh, the whooping cranes. I believe that's what it is. Yes, a whooping crane. And they built these uh, huge, uh, gliders and taught these little younglings how to do the migration and it saved the species. So now all of the young ones are becoming older and teaching their kids how to do it because of gliders like these. So again, that's just really cool how, uh, you know, humans are taking care of the earth and, uh, you know, maybe if things get messed up or whatever, we can correct that. So that's really cool. Uh, how they did this. And here I'm just taking a, a video right here, thinking that, uh, that, I, think that was, I thought we were just going on a train ride, and this train ride ended up becoming a, uh, a place where it led us into this. So again, um, if you're still watching this, this is really cool. I highly recommend going on the, uh, the Rafiki's uh, train that leads you into this back property of this um, animal sanctuary area. I don't believe you can walk into this area, but you can get uh, the train. Look at these little frogs. We <gasps> love frogs. These frogs are so cool. He's got one of my favorites. He's so cute. <laughs> he gets his own little, is that a mister? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but see, you see him 
my god. Attention to that. Oh, look at these blue ones. Oh, the poison dart frogs. These are really cool because the backside of them, they develop, they create this like poison to it. And uh, yeah, that's what they would actually use to. Uh, um, some of the people in the jungle actually they use some of the poison on the backside. That's why they're called poison dart fish and uh, dart fish, dart frogs. And then they would like shoot uh, the animals and things like that. And, well, you know, makes them go to sleep for a while and then they either they eat them or they'll you know do other things with them. So, those are pretty cool. Holy veterinarian world. Alright, I got the back there. This is really cool. Take care of the animals over here. Some of the fun little, uh, uh, yeah, really. That's an animal MRI machine. Yeah, right? And it's like an operating table. I mean, that is so cool. Hey. This is the animation experience. Fun. So right above our heads is kind of like the... Uh, the whole whooping crane uh, where the glider was kind of teaching what I was just saying earlier where the, uh, the glider was teaching these young whooping cranes kind of like the migration path and of course right over here with this animation station here you have uh, you have Frank and Ollie best friends for life they lived in the same house together they actually even married and lived next door until their 90s you have Mary Blair and um, Rita Scott, I'm not too familiar with, but Mary Blair, uh, she actually went on a, an expedition in the 40s, early 40s. That's where she went from a realist to an abstract down in South America. Um, kind of government goodwill trip that she did. Got Walt himself. Amazing. All right, and of course, we're, I don't know if we're gonna go into the back area. We'll see. All right. 